<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Mom, I don't think it's an egg. Welcome to episode 45 of Saturday Morning Live. We begin today's programming with an announcement from the five-year-old pertaining to his breakfast. Yes. My, the eggs don't look like it. They are eggs, and I'm going to need you to eat them. They don't look like it. I made them. Mom, how many can you eat? You need to eat 12. 12? Yes. Five. 12. Yes, but you're tall. You're very tall. I'm not 12 feet. <laughs> oh, goodness. Indeed, you're not 12 feet. Do you guys like my mean mugging? Mug? Yes, it's got tea in it. <clears throat> There's a lot to plan. There's a lot to plan. I'll give y'all a couple of minutes to come in. Still have this unicorn sticker that the kid gave me yesterday. It, it still sticks on? Yes, even though I've washed, dried, given. Given you a bath and shower. No. No what? I don't want to get a shower. Not right now. Where? Um, I'll eat my bread and butter. Yeah, after that. After that, after you eat your eggs. So we have. Bread and butter. Mama, I want to eat my bread and butter. Mr. Man, please respect yourself this early Saturday morning and do what you're supposed to do. Please do not let me talk more than once. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All righty. I have a shopping list here. Like I said, I've been very busy today, so I want to brag on myself. I did, um, I, I cleaned out my car. I, I've bought the, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it here? The thing for the garage, it's not here, but I, I, I should put that on. That was one of my goals for the month. And I don't know how come I didn't write it here because it's in my budget planner. And that's, um, I wouldn't say it was to declutter the garage. It was more like rearrange my garage. Yeah. So start garage declutter. I think that's what that was. I have done phase one of this project by purchasing the um, by purchasing the what you call it. I had a meeting at nine o'clock on this day. Uh, I'll just say meeting. So for me to finish my thought, I had uh, the first part of that task or that project was to purchase the shelves for the garage. Now, if you looked at my January budget closeout video, you would see that I budgeted $100 for the shelves. So far, I've spent 140 and I bought two of them. So... I think I'm doing okay because truly my budget was 40 bucks a piece and I thought I could stretch it and make and buy three. I'll spend $120. Nope, nope, nope. I've not seen it. In fact, I made a mistake. Was it last weekend where someone said that their firm price was 60 bucks and I was like, no, please give it to me for 50. And I lost out on that one. And now I bought another one for 70 bucks. Well, I bought two, so I spent 140. 
so there i have begun that project so i'm glad so i unloaded that from my car today i checked my oil i checked my oil levels i checked my radiator i refilled my washer fluid which reminds me okay that's on the list i refilled my washer fluid um and then took all that stuff that i bought out of the car which was a lot so I did that. I started plotting how the garage uh, thing was going to go. I'm going to need help to do that. And then inside the house, I made my lists. I did my fridge inventory. I made my shopping list for the weekend. I ate breakfast and I ate a healthy breakfast. I ate vegetables and two boiled eggs. It was literally broccoli you know, the broccoli carrot mix with cauliflower and two boiled eggs. And what else? Then I'm drinking my tea, which is right there. Yeah. So I'm craving bread right now in a bad way. I'm craving bread. So I'm just going to sit here and do what I'm supposed to do. What else did I do this morning? I exercised this morning. Um, oh, hi, Christy. Hi, Planner Grandma. So I'm just bragging on myself and everything that I've done so far because I woke up on time and I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff done. So what was I saying? What else have I done? So I made these lists. I did the fridge inf inventory. I made my shopping list. I ate a healthy breakfast. I've put dishes into the dishwasher. Um, I made TJ's breakfast. I boiled eggs. So I'm already getting a jump on my tasks for next week yeah oh yes happy belated valentine's day everybody how did your valentine's day go how did your val's days go <clears throat> as often happens when you are a single parent um children <laughs> come in the way of valentine's day children work so that's what happened to my valentine's day yes work and children well child well children uh, children yeah but i still i i you know was able to um i got my roses i got my card everything was beautiful but you know that's it. That's that's all it is. What else do we need to do today? We need to buy a gift for the birthday boy. We need to buy a birthday gift. Buy birthday gift. Last night we ate broccoli. Well, broccoli. Wow, really? Broccoli Normandy. And the day before, TJ wasn't home, so I ate plantain chips, I think. I actually drank tea. No, I think I had some plantain chips. I don't remember. I just drank ginger tea. My stomach's been upside down. Ginger tea. I may or may not have eaten some plantain chips. I don't remember. So I plead the filth. I plead the filth. Brussels sprouts? Ugh, no. I will, no, 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 no. Speaking of which, do I have zucchini? I have zucchini. Do I have squash? There's no squash on here. Squash. <clears throat> which reminds me, I need to prep the zucchini that I do have. Uh, how many of these am I going to buy? I'm going to just say one of each. One of each, one zucchini and one squash. Prep zucchini. And by prep, what I'm going to do is slice them up, spice them up, and saute them. Which reminds me, I need a small frying pan. Okay, that's already on here. I have a lot to do this weekend. So this entire list is from is going to be in different shops. There's Ross. 
There's Ross and um, TJ Maxx. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's it. Ginger and lemon tea. You were supposed to have a girl's night out. You fell asleep. Ooh. No sitter, so you made a romantic dinner. That's nice. I Yes, I like that. A family day. So today, well... He has swim class and the party. I'm thinking after both of these, he's going to be pooped. So I don't know how much of a family day. So I don't think we'll be able to go to the museum today. But we should go to the museum tomorrow. Well, it depends. If we don't go to the muse museum this weekend, next... Oh, that's anyway. The, those are the plans. Those are the plans. I'm gonna take half of this out because we are done already for half the month. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Have you eaten your eggs? Excuse me? <laughs> Bless you. What did you say? Before I count to 12, go downstairs, eat five pieces of those eggs, and then come back and tell me how they tasted. Okay. Can you, can you, can you guys imagine? Can you guys imagine? The effing tree. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. What else was I reading? Yay! Hi, Nileve. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for hitting the like button. You're ready for spring? And Sam is getting a... Sam is having a girls' night tonight. Yes. Outlander, season five. From, ooh, what is that? <laughs> the third winter. I hear that. I hear that. So let me write all the things that I was supposed to do this morning and cross them off because I did it. I did it. I exercised. Ooh, yes. It's been two days since I last exercised. So I felt, well, really it hasn't been because let me show you guys this. So I've been doing a lunge challenge and uh, actually I got 20 lunges yesterday. I've done 15 of this this morning. So even though I haven't been doing my 10 minute exercises, I think I missed two days. I've still been continuing with my, with the lunge challenge. So my goal this month is to complete this lunge challenge. And I've already found a great challenge for next month, which will be a lunge I think it's a lunge plank and squat challenge. Yes, lunge planks and squats. So that's going to be awesome because A, I love squats. Um, it, squats are easier for me than lunges. It, wow, did I just say I love squats? Wow, who are you? Who are you, ma'am? Who are you? What's going on? Wow, she said she, wow. Well, okay, I mean, I might as well. Put squats and lunges together. I prefer squats. So that's it. But lunges, I have seen, helps to shape my body quicker, which is weird, but I guess it is what it is. So I've exercised. I have refilled the washer fluid. Refilled washer fluid. I have uh, made eggs. Ha ha ha. I made two, three different types of eggs. I made eggs. I've made my lists. Make lists. I've made my lists, and this is the birthday party. We need to get a gift. Get gift for party. Get gift for party, and then we need to go to 
Ross, TJ Maxx, maybe Burlington, maybe Bur oh yes, I do need to go to Burlington because Burlington, Sephora, I think. I need to get some some things for my face. Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington. I might end up, end up in the Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Uh -huh. Yeah. Christy says, I've fallen off the exercise train. I'm an, I need you to get back on that train, ma'am. I need you to get back on that train completely. Where is my... Now that I've finished with these pages, I can put them back in my... <clears throat> this is January. I'm putting them back in the binder. Okay. You did one exercise this week. Hey! You did one. That's 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 it. That's that's great. You did one exercise. It's better than zero. So yay you. That's it. Where is the other piece that goes right there? That's a good question. Where is the other piece? Where's the other piece? Oh. So yay, yay, that, which is why I'm starting small because I don't want to deceive myself and think I'm going to do all this stuff and I'm going to be, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm starting small. My goal, 10 minutes, first thing in the morning. I haven't made it all the way through. Oh, so he now he's eating his eggs. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Did you hear that? Now he's eating his eggs. Great. Thank you, Lord, for a child who listens. All right. What are we reading? His treats. Oh, <laughs> I I don't think I took pictures of it. Um, no, I did. I did. I put it on Facebook. I didn't put it on Instagram. We went, we went to the Dollar Tree and... We got stamps, stickers, stamps, stickers. We got notepads, pencils, erasers, and one more thing. I don't remember, but it was about five little things in, and then the little gift bags. So I had an assembly line going, and it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of work. Then I wrote all the kids' names down. I also made, I made my first vinyl craft. I didn't make it with my Cricut. I sliced it up with the scissors, but I made vinyl, made vinyl hearts and a bow tie. Mm. So that was good. <laughs> Christy says she lost her ticket for that train. Was that the exercise train? <laughs> I need to get him a stuffed animal. I wanted to get him a stuffed animal for Valentine's Day just to say, you know, from mom. And he made me the loveliest Valentine. He drew himself and me coming in for, for a hug. So, you know, he drew the straight stick arms and he's got himself drawn on one side and me from the other side. He drew our house. He put our what he thought was our house number. And then he drew my mom on the other side. I think it was grandma and grandpa, I think, on the other side. And they were also coming in for hugs. And he said, I love you, mama. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my heart. So he gave me a valentine. And then he asked, he said, mama, did you like the valentines I made for you? I said, yes, my darling. Yes. I was so, I was so touched. I was so touched. I was so touched so that was great that was great you're going to drink a glass of rose wine tonight Ooh, nice 
Okay, he's coming upstairs. We're going to hear a report on how these eggs were. So, how were the eggs? That's it? You can eat five more. You know that. Did you eat your bread? Finished it? Did you drink water? Alrighty. So we've done that. And now, I want to decorate this daily planner because we have a challenge going on in the new group for the love of planners. We're supposed to decorate for the week of 17th through, I think it's what, the 23rd? And we're supposed to decorate with the first Happy Planner sticker book that we ever got. Now, I don't know the first sticker book I ever got because I, I think, if I recall correctly, I bought four at the same time. Anyway, we're supposed to use one of the oldest ones. So I'm going to need you guys' help because I've done a challenge similar to that before. And I don't think I really liked it at the end of the day. Ooh. I don't think I really liked it at the end of the day. For my weekly planner, I want to use a Christian Designs kit. Either a Christian Designs or an Erin Condren kit. Because I have a lot of kits and I want to use them. That's, that's it. Ooh, food. I'm going to use this to decorate my shopping list. Color Story was one of the one of the first ones I got. But this is a big and oh, let's see how it works in this daily. Hold on. Hold on. Let's move you to the end. Hold on a second. Let's see how this fits. Hold on a second. Now I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Let's use a pink one. Let's see how it fits. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Hmm. Okay. I thought this would be great for this planner because the the EC Daily is sort of a, you know, sort of like a big. It sort of works, but not quite. Not quite. I'm sure the other pieces would work, though, even though the... Even though the checklist didn't work i'm almost sure that everything else would yeah why not why not hmm. you could have to do and put it on the side yes i'm loving it i think this was the very first one that i got and it's color story so it's already color coordinated for whatever it is you want to do. These are the squad goals colors. This life is lovely. Mm -hmm. Today to do. Mm -hmm. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Okay. I like this. Hi, Pine and Ginger. Good morning. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. That has to go in my journal when I restart my journaling. I'm, I'm, my journaling is changing these days. I'm journaling my goals a little more and how I'm trying to achieve them and my thoughts and my encouragements and affirmations. So it's, it's, it's different from, I don't know, from what I feel is journaling. But the truth is, journaling can be whatever you want it to be. So which color scheme do I want to do? 
The very first one, I believe. Florals, flowers. <laughs> Best week ever. This is gorgeous. Now is the new later. That's what I need. Don't stress, do your best, forget the rest. Today is the best day. I like it. I like it. Hi, Southern Bell Creates. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is very bright. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, instead of, instead of um, using these to-do boxes as in the way they were designed, which is <laughs> vertically, I'm going to use them horizontally because when I put them horizontally, they pretty much fit these EC boxes. So if I look at my typical week, I'm looking at last week, uh, last week, actually I did that, move that to the next day. Good morning, she who plans. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am planning in my daily planner. And my, I'm not going to put my everyday things in here. That's going to be my habit tracker in the weekly section, which reminds me, Saturday, Saturday, 7.30. I did go to bed by 10 on Friday. I probably went to bed by 10 on Thursday too. Uh, dinner by 7.30 Thursday because I did not eat dinner. Okay, that's it. So, let's start putting some stickers down. We're going to use the very first... Um, the very first color spread because I love yellow and for some weird reason I'm getting into the pink... So, yeah. The bottom, I've started using the bottom section of my daily to write my scriptures. I need to get better into the habit of that, but I think once I do that, I'm not going to need a horizontal planner, a horizontal, yeah, a horizontal planner anymore because I can put all of that here. Yes, this is from the big color story, the very first. Is it the very first? It doesn't have a date on it. I think it's the very first because after I bought this and I tried to use it and I realized how big it was, I didn't buy any more. So I this might actually be the very first sticker book that I bought. And I didn't realize that it had that on it. So yeah. I would like to use some washi because I want to see color and beauty. Some bright washi. Will this go? Yeah, I think it does. We just need a blue to make it perfect. Yes, put washi on it. I definitely need to do that. No. You are a contender. Bright blue. Or I could just use the bright rainbow. That would be better. <clears throat> yes. The bright rainbow. This is a great opportunity for a bright rainbow. And this pink. Yeah, I do. I do think it's the first one. I do think it's the first one. Rainbow, rainbow. Uh, you know what? I won't 
don't need this. But I will use... I don't know that I'm going to use the white rainbow because it's... white rainbow and then the pink yeah have the white have the rainbow be sort of a background because the black rainbow is very very obvious very obvious so let's use the rainbow Ooh, this is good the simple line rainbow we'll use that for the next few days so you can go over there go back over here all right so we have rainbow in all the sizes and then we have the simple line let's get these and just be sure this is a brighter one than these all right rainbow 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 let's get all the pages out Because we're decorating six pages. So that's a lot of stickers. That is a lot of stickers. I think I'm going to start with whiting out. Whiting out all the pieces. Siobhan, hey, a couple of people. Hi, PB and Jesley. A couple of people have not told us what you guys did for your Valentine's Day. Do you care to share what you did? Tell us. Tell me. I must know. Okay. We did that one. We did this one. Oh man. Sorry, PB and Jesley. Whoops. She is getting over the flu. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks hard. So she asked a question How's everybody doing on your goals? I have not gone anywhere with my goal of um with my goal of getting into my cricket. Well, and part of the reason is because my focus this first quarter of the year was for physical wellness. Because of the because of the weather and yeah, because of the weather and the availability of sunlight. I'm a person who needs a lot of vitamin D. I have a large body mass. And I need sun. I'm used to sun. I'm Nigerian. Born and bred in Niger. So, we have sun in the abundance. And it took me a long time to realize how much sun I needed took me a long time I didn't understand why I was getting so depressed but I didn't realize that um, the absence of Sun had something to do with it apart from you know hormonal cycles and hypothyroidism and just general if I'll call it general or natural inclination ADD all that stuff Apart from that, the weather and the change in weather also had a big part to play. Now that I've learned it, I've learned that in times like these, 
I need to be more intentional with my mental health and my mental state. In addition to being more intentional with my mental health and my mental state, I also need to be very intentional about what I put into my body and how it makes me feel, which is why this, which is why I have that goal of 10 minutes of exercise first thing in the morning. The timing also has something to do with it. So that's why I have the goal of 10 minutes of exercise first thing in the morning. I usually do more than 10 minutes, but it's, um, it's to get the blood flowing, to get myself to sweat, to get my body to produce endorphins that it needs and just, you know, start to start things going. So I have exercise on there. I have prioritizing vegetables in my diet as one of my goals. And that's, it's, I'm already, I'm doing that and I'm happy with how it's going. Well, except for this last week. This last week was, um, was a little bad because I ate a lot of plantain chips. And even though I've realized that plantain chips doesn't make my stomach feel so good, I am still eating them. I am still eating them, which is horrible. Horrible, horrible. The Mr. Ordered Chocolate Covered Strawberries. Aw. It took you an hour to pick them up. What? Oh, goodness. Mm. Oh, and you're vitamin D deficient and anemic. You sound like me. Welcome. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to take some iron tablets today. Uh, you need to do more self-care. Getting sick really drove home that point. I agree. I told you that name. I don't that I don't think that name is Nigerian. And I leave. I don't think that name is Nigerian, because you need to know the exact ethnic group or tribe as they used to be called you need to know the exact ethnic group that the name is from if you don't then i don't i don't think i don't think that's nigerian let's see i think i decided to use this one hi kate I don't like iron pills either because they're so difficult to digest. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So did I mention everything? Let's see. I mentioned, um, what am I looking for? I mentioned exercise. So exercise, sleeping on time, prioritizing vegetables in my diet, um, especially vegetables that contain vitamin, especially vegetables that contain iron and vitamin D. So loads of kale, mushrooms, mushrooms are huge, and, you know, general fruits and veggies. Yeah, general fruits and veggies. There was one more thing that I wanted to say just now, and I, I have lost my train of thought. I don't remember. But anywho, let's use the green, we'll use the yellow underneath the other side. Hmm, this is not making the rainbow look obvious enough i may have to nix this extra piece here i just may have to nix this extra piece we'll see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the worst stomach up 
it takes a while for the iron pills to even get to that stage for me. And the thing is, if I keep taking it, all of a, I wouldn't even know. Then all of a sudden, I would be constipated. And then I'm like, screw, screw iron. Just screw iron in general. But yeah. Oh, so the, the, the next thing that I'm doing, because January went okay. And oh, I realized I have not given a I have not given my goals update. I have not given my goals update. So the next thing that I'm doing in addition to um I need to take this off and put the actual rainbow with the rainbow foil. This white is not What do you guys think? The white is too subtle, isn't it? Let's use the rainbow on the other side and compare. I keep losing my train of thought. No. So what I was going to say is that the other thing that I've that I've started doing that I said I was going to do this month is to step down on sugar. So things that contain sugar that I love to eat, e.g. candy. This is not even in the right place. Candy, and I wasn't a big candy eater before December. And then for some reason, reasons unknown to me, I went nuts on candy. And then I just, I just it felt like I couldn't stop buying it. And this is me who, you buy me some chocolate, buy me ice cream. Yeah, I'll eat, you know, I'll eat a piece or eat some today. And then for the next three weeks, I'll just keep looking at it in the freezer. So I'm not too big of a sugar person normally, except for things like bread and plantain chips. So I've decided that I'm going to step down my sugar and my sugar intake because it helps me feel better. It helps me have less painful periods. Yeah. I'm one of those people, so sorry if this is TMI for you. Helps me um, have less painful periods. This is the aim I was trying to achieve. So I'm going to take the other one out. So I'm working on that. I bought, I bought a very, very bitter cola from the African store the other day. This thing is bitter, like it's bitter. And then I made the mis, I don't know if I'll call it a mistake. I made the mistake of making a smoothie that had no sugar. And I didn't realize it until I started drinking it that there was no sugar. Now, I don't add sugar to anything at all. I don't add sugar to my tea or my food, but the mixes usually have sugar in them. I think so too, Christy. Is that Christy? Oh, sorry, Kate. I think so too. The rainbow is better. Iron infusions. Oh, Lord. Wait, what? I missed a couple of things. You take the stool softener with the... And it's the... Ooh. Oh, God. That sucks. That sucks. Yes, PB and Jesley, I shall be getting the EC box. I shall be getting the EC box. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. You eat your veggies, but you're still anemic. Oh, one thing I found, especially with uh, eating things like kale and spinach, you need to have vitamin D go with it in order to, for your body to absorb it properly, which is weird. But yes, if you're taking vitamin D... If you're taking a vitamin D tablet, you should take some vitamin C as well. If you're taking vitamin C or iron, no, that's wrong. If you're taking vitamin D, you need vitamin C. If you're taking iron, you need vitamin C. So I don't know if I've roundly confused you all and myself, but I, th that's it. I don't know how else to put it. You need vitamin C. You need yellow over here and then green on the other side. And then blue. Hmm. 
yeah, vitamins and all that, they're weird. They are weird. Weird. Sundown used to have an iron supplement that included a B complex. Now you take Alive. I haven't seen that. Alive. You went back to chicken. Ooh. Man. It's not easy being a woman. God. It is not easy being a woman. I remember the very first time when I, on accident, found out how sugar and bread affected um, the cramp, my cramping and pain and everything. It was on, a, it was, I mean, it was just on accident. And I was like, what? Oh, my eye is tripping out. My eyes are tripping. My eyes are tripping. This is not going to work. My eyes like there's yellow here that no. If my if it's my eyes or my brain. Bye, Christy. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Protein shakes mix have no sugar. Check out Always Hungry. Ooh. Yes. So that's that's what I need to do because yeah, that's what I need to do. This green. I'm not sure I can use that again, but I'm sure I can use this yellow again. That'll do. So for some reason, I stopped. I just, I think I was trying out paleo. And I didn't eat bread, I didn't eat rice, I didn't eat sugar. And then, come period time, I was like, oh, minimal. Like, I, I, because of my periods, I've discovered that I have a high pain tolerance, right? I didn't know it until I was pregnant with TJ. And I was two centimeters dilated. And they said, no, I w yeah. I was two centimeters dilated and I came in for my contractions been. Yeah, I said, what contractions? Because I haven't felt ish. Hmm. So I hope I have two of these because it will not be funny if this finishes. I don't. Great, great. Why didn't you buy two? Did it make sense for you to not buy two? You bought two black ones. Why didn't you buy two rainbow? I don't know. Wait, it's both my eyes and my brain. It is, isn't it? I agree, it is. Because my eyes see it. And then my brain interprets it and says, no, 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 no. That's going to be fine. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah. So I discovered that by accident. And now, in order to keep up with just having my internals be, be fine and match up to the externals and work with all the things I'm supposed to be doing or work with myself in terms of, you know, the exercise and the eating better, I'm also working to reduce my sugar. But it's not been easy, I tell you. It's not been easy. This week, my body was like, I need sugar, I need bread. So, I went and bought some bread from the store. And ate, I ate a loaf of bread, a loaf of the sweet bread. It's two in a, it's two in a pack, right? And this is the sweet, the sweet, um, I think it's Cuban bread. 
Hi, Gigi. Good morning. You took your mom early to the airport. Oh, you were catching up on sleep. Understood. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um. Oh, Gigi, I need to DM you to get to get that misfit bag if you're still if you still want to let it go because, you know, I know you didn't mean to spend the money on it. But you bought it because I wanted it. I like this. So yellow. I don't have a bright blue. A bright blue would have solved this problem. I need a small bright blue. Maybe this one? Maybe. Hmm. Wait, what? Uh, no. And that is vertical. Why isn't that horizontal? <clears throat> there is... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, it's silver. It's not gold. This would have been great, but it's silver. What I wanted is blue and gold. Is this rainbow? This is rainbow. That is rainbow. Wow. Blue, 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 blue. I think I'm going back to this. Because it's the closest that I have. This is my catch-all classic planner. You have to resist buying the Cheesecake Factory brown bread. <laughs> well, then, Gigi, I think you should keep it because... Um, yeah i mean I'm, oh i didn't realize this is silver this is hollow oh man which of these two should we use this is the closest but it's dark it's not a bright blue you know it's not a happy it's not a happy blue darn it this is a more happy blue but it's not the blue that i want darn it well we can agree on one thing y'all i need help i need strength pray for me the february pre-sale from simply gilded has begun oh why am i making this a bigger deal this is hollow this is hollow we're fine this is the one i'm going to use this is what i'm going to use yeah there's no need to make it bigger than than it is you're writing your grocery list for your husband to go shopping with. Yes. You <laughs> Kate, you said I need to be detailed sometimes. Nah. Ooh, I would I would love I would I I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, I guess I can. But yes, I would love to have a partner that I could ask to go shopping and do all that fun stuff with fun life stuff, you know, fun life stuff. He doesn't get the right amount of things or know what size to get. Then why don't you go yourself? <laughs> I'm sure that's what he would say. Well then go yourself <laughs> because it's in your mind. Anyway, he can watch the kids. He'll watch the kids and you go to the store and have some me time at the store like all moms do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, first world problems. First world problems.
You fall. Oh, yeah, you do need to be home. Okay, okay. Yeah, you do. You fought a horrible cold. What's going to happen, or what might happen, is he might just video call you, which I prefer. Yeah. Video call me. I need to see what you're getting, and that's it. Yeah. Aha. Now this is a happy, a very happy rainbow. You have the green, yellow. You have the pink, you have the blue, and then we would need to have, let's see, we would need to have all of it over here. We would need to have rainbow, so rainbow, rainbow, so we can put green, yellow, pink. Where would the blue be? I don't know. We're just going to make it rainbow. But I'd like to add something to it. I'd like to add something to it. Someone asked me a question. Something about on the go. Okay. PB and Jesley asked, what do you use for on the go? This is what I use for on the go. This is my on the go planner. This. This. Oh my goodness. When did this happen? I guess it's to be expected though from putting my planner up and down everywhere. Ooh, but this doesn't make me feel good about the white. My plan was to use the, my desk is so disorganized, y'all. Y'all would not believe the stuff I'm hiding back here. Oh boy. This is Evie's stuff. I need to, I need to find... I need to find those stickers. I need to put that on my list. This does not make me feel good about the white. My plan was to use this next month. I'm not so sure anymore because this is the green and it's dingy and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty hard on my stuff because I use it. I use it all. I don't, I don't, um, I don't sugarcoat it. So who was it that asked? It was PB and Jesley. So like I said, I use this as my on the go and I have, where is it? Where did it go? Aha. Uh -huh. I have this also. So when I go to church, I have this in my in my church bag. I use this for pre-planning. I don't use it as much as I should. This is next week showing my appointments. There's a black pen. There's a black pen right here. And then, oh, next week. I may not see you guys next week. I'm not sure. Super secret thing happening. So I have, I carry a backpack and I carry this with me and it has everything, right? It has my weekly planner. It has, I need to change this and I need to write that on my list. Uh, I don't have any need for this anymore. This was what the custody schedule used to be before my ex moved to San Antonio. So it has my weekly, it has my daily, it has my happy planner stuff. Like this is, this should not look like this, but this is my, um, where I write my expenses in these categories. So you guys should see a mid-month budget update by Monday because that's another thing I need to put on my list. So I have a bunch of notes, random notes, different things, some of my goal stuff, um, notes, things I'm doing for my channel, folders. I have this, these wellness inserts, more notes because I keep 
I keep notes ev for everything. I have this chore chore thing here and then menu plans grocery list I haven't used that yet more notes it's really a bunch of note paper and then YouTube stuff social media and then more notes I use these for church related stuff so for my single for the singles ministry that's where I put them If you're having that lollipop, that's all you're having today. Yeah, Mama. Do you understand? Yes, Mama. I'm talking to you. You cannot move. Do not ask me for any more. You have John's party later. You will not have candy at John's party if you eat this. Is that what you want? Uh -uh. So put that down so that you can have some candy at John's party. Okay? Think carefully. One candy right now, or maybe five later. One candy right now? One candy right now? Mm -hmm. So at John's party, you're not going to have candy when all the other kids are having candy. You're having a birthday cake. So put that down. Huh? Put that down. Tablet. Yes, you can. Um, no, this is not a Hobonichi. This is a Jibun Techo. Whoa. <laughs> <gasps> what? Southern Belle? You didn't? What? No, no, no. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Where did she say it? Where did she say it? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed all these comments. Mama. He does it once in a while. Mama. Yes, honey. If, if I press this thing hard, it's going to turn off. I'm not sure about that. Well, then I guess you should turn it hard. What if it turns off again? Well, I told you I'm going to replace it. It'll just take me a few weeks. Uh, you give your husband a list of brand-specific, and he does. Oh, yes, you did. Okay, so this is where you said it. You're getting close to delivery. Congratulations. Your husband was a single dad before we got together. So, he, oh, that's nice. I like that. Yes, you can trust him with shopping and stuff. We welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yes. So, like I said, this is a Jibun Techo. Where is the place that shows it? Yeah. So this is a Jibun Techo, and this is the A5 Slim. It's a 24-hour planner. It's got the very thin paper, and you have the months. You have the months first, and then you have the weeks. And it goes all the way up to February 2021. I think it's February 2021. Whoops, nope. So it ends in the second week of January 2021. So this, um, I use this to pre-plan, especially because it has 24 hours. Um, most of the other planners start at 6 a.m. I'm someone who wakes up between somewhere, anywhere from 4 to 5. So I can wake up at 4 some days. I'll wake up at 5 some days, 5.30 some days, but usually 5 o'clock. So my day starts at 5. This planner, like I said, is 24 hours, so... You can see that you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then from the 7 a.m. hour, you have two slots per hour to do your stuff. So I use it to allocate my time where, you know, where I'll be or what I'll be doing. And that's how that goes. Yes, I keep everything together, which is why I love the disc bound system. And since I love Erin Condren paper, I will uncoil and snip and slice. But these inserts are from the binder, from the EC Daily binder. So what I did, I just took it out and punched it. And that was it. That was it. Yeah, so everything, everything is together. And I have those notes there because 
I like to just jot down random things and sometimes you just need, you know, some extra space for stuff. You just need some extra space. Uh, since this is the weekend, we're going to do, we're going to use the light rainbow for the weekend. Yes. Hi, Yolanda. Good morning. Number four and the last. Really? You sent your oldest off to college and then you found out you were pregnant. I love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so fun. So fun. I would like to have another baby, but then I would also like to have another husband. So... Oh no, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my life. Enjoy my life. Because it's going to be great either way. No matter what happens. And this goes all the way here. We're just chit-chatting. We haven't even gotten to the main part of, of this plan with me. You get up at 7 and you're out the door for school at 7. What? How? 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 Wow. How is that po Oh. Are your kids older? Oh, no. Sam. Sam's grandkids... How are you? Mm, I don't know how you're able to do that. My kid needs 30 minutes in the morning to get himself together. And then all the things he has to talk to me about and just the process of getting him ready and all the hugs and kisses and breakfast. So, oh, this is lovely. I love this washi. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Uh oh, darn it. I forgot this is the. I forgot that this is the perforated washi. So you have to be careful when you are laying it down and pulling it because it'll pull off your hands. Gorgeous. It was a shock. You were one way you were one year away of being daycare fee free. Oh, that's so cool. You have a freshman in college, a kindergartner. Those are your boys. And then you have a 10 year old and 14 in between. Oh, <laughs> I, I look Southern Belle. I hear you on the daycare thing. My goodness. My goodness. I hear you. Daycare is expensive. By the time you're done paying for daycare, you realize how much savings you've missed out on in life, just in general. Okay, so I was able to get that washi done properly. So it didn't cut. Okay, this one now goes all the way. Now, this is something I don't really like about the daily planner because about this daily Erin Condren planner. Um, and I keep saying it that I'm going to try this happiness planner, the P the peony planner from the happiness planner. And the layout is basically this. The compact one is this. It's two days on a page. And so you have three pages to a week. So it'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it has a spot for the way it the way it is is this. So the way it is is on on the on the day that starts the week. You know, whatever it is you have to do, your brain dump for that week. And then you have Monday, then you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. 
instead of what Aaron Condren is doing here, where you have a day per page, and then at the end of the week, you have Saturday and Sunday on this. So mm, I don't like that. I do not like that. And this space is often not enough for me to write my scriptures at the end of the week. This space is enough during the week, but this is not enough because it's it's they took more space or they have more lines. See, you got two more lines and then you have this notes and whatever. So that's it. Enough for the rant. Your 11 year old needs 30 minutes to get out of bed. That's just like my five year old. Yes. In spite of the fact that he has an alarm. No, silly. Uncanny ability to wake up when I'm filming and then come into my room. That's when he wants to wake up. The day that I'm up and about, I'm downstairs, I'm getting stuff done, and I'm just like, oh, if only he would wake up so that we can. So put that to charge. Oh no. Oh no. It's telling me internet connection is unstable. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Oh. It's still telling me internet connection. Oh man, it is lovely, lovely, lovely. I think I'm still buffering. Darn it! What's going on, internet? What is going on? Come back, come back, internet, come back! Come back! I don't know. I hope it stays. You lay out your clothes before and they eat breakfast at school. C. TJ gets breakfast at school, but he wants breakfast at home also. So, you know, mama, I want bread and butter. Or he gets a kolache. Or he gets some protein pancakes. And eggs. There's usually eggs in the mix almost every day. Yeah. And then he eats um, whatever they have at school. Sometimes they have just cereal, though. And that isn't enough for him. And then sometimes he goes to school and he doesn't eat breakfast at school because he ate at home. So yeah, you make sure to file that on your expenses for taxes. Yes, yes. You quit your job because daycare was taking 80 plus percent. Of, oh my goodness. Exactly. Just working to pay someone else to take care of the kids. You have to make more than... You have to make... You have to make enough money such that 50% or less of your paycheck is going towards daycare. And that is a lot. Can you imagine half of your salary? Ooh, I felt it. I, I felt it. I felt it. And at the time, my ex- camp costs for me either the younger kids are old enough to be home with your dad or eldest until you're off for five weeks in the summer no the the, the problem is my connection i just i just hope that you guys can 
I just hope that it comes back. Time to put some stickers down. Time to put some stickers down. So my plan is, let's see. I'm opening my planner on the side to last week because typically, actually I should bring my blender planner down. Typically I'm not as busy during the week. So I'm just going to do a flip through of what it usually looks like, okay? Yeah. So I'm not as busy during the week. Somewhat somewhat like every other day, I guess. So January went okay. February hmm. I guess sort of. Hmm. It's neither here nor there. So my plan is to use these big stickers for the to-dos. We will start, we shall continue. might have to leave and come back. Hmm. I can see it on my monitor over here that it's still freezing. So you got, if anybody is still, you guys let me know if the sound is continuous and it's just the video that's buffering or if it's both. Can you put it down in the comments, please? Is it both the audio and video that are buffering? Or is it just the video? So we have blue here. Oh, I love this. Okay. Four pages for each week. So we have the blue and the pink. It's both. Mm. So I can do this or put it down on the other side. Both were buffering? Okay. We have two, three. I want it to cover the middle. Yeah. So we have that. going to use because it's rainbow I'm going off color which is fine so I have you over here I'm going to have you at the top ooh these big boxes these big boxes. Ah. 
Sticker's gonna be crooked. Just accept it. So we're putting down the big boxes. I want to use the to-dos. Oh, I didn't want to use the pink and pink. I'm going to use the pink and blue. We're going to put that all the way down here. Yes. I love that it fits from the side. So we have that, and then we have the blue ones. Ooh, pink, black, and white. Yes. But since writing, non-writing, we'll write in here. So we need this black and white. Or black and gold. Yes, PB and Jesley, I do have a video of my planner lineup. I have my, I think the video is called my 2020 planner lineup. And I show all of the, all of this. So you'll see, you'll see this in there. Should we use this black and gold or just plain black and white? I'm tending towards the black and white because it fits either way. And then this one is going to be, so center top, center bottom, this is going to be top and bottom. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? The big Happy Planner sticker or vertical stickers fit right in the Erin Condren daily planner side. Wow. Look at that. Perfect. This box covers the whole, the whole, um, the whole thing from left to right. So we have that, we have that, and then I'm going to leave Saturday and Sunday um, free of these big boxes because those are typically my busiest days. Never ever settle. Friday. On Friday we're going to use this one. Okay, boxes, boxes, yeah, we can do this one as a write-in. This can be in the middle. Pretty much, okay, alrighty, and then... I meant to buy some stickers, I just have not, I just haven't psyched myself up for that yet. I need to buy some stickers that, um, some stickers that fill this hour, hourly Okay, we have, yes, I'm doing all the rainbow, all the rainbow. We have smile, 
That should actually go for Friday. Every time you think about This works. Well, I want to put it in the middle. Smile. I'll put it at the side. Mm, I feel like something else should be here. I'll put it here. Okay. I want this follow your dreams one to be here. But it might break, it might make me feel weird, it might make my brain say, ah, not doing that. You know, to put the big yellow over here instead of, ooh, how about this? How about this? Put the yellow over here, maybe? No, that'll draw my eye this way. If it's this way, I'll feel weird. If it's right here... If it's right here, I won't feel as bad. I wonder why. I know why. It's because my brain would feel like it's flowing and it's balanced. Okay, so we can do this, or we can put this right here in the middle. Hmm? Put it up top here. It'll need to be closer to the middle. And if I do that, I'll be wasting a sticker. And I have an appointment at 9... No. It can be down here. This page will be reserved strictly for the yellow. How about that? We're making very... We're doing very good on time so far. So this is good. This is very good. We have a little green here. We have a pink here. Aha. This is good. And then I can tell myself, start today. Because why not? That's the thing about life. Start today. That's fine. Uh, let's see. I should have something very important to do on Monday. Whoops. So I'll need to have that. This would be for the most important thing. The most important items. Two most important items. Okay. Tuesday's good. Oh, okay. Oh. Sweetheart. Oh, so that's that. Friday and Saturday, errands. Ooh, Saturday. TJ is not with me this Saturday. So I'll put this down here. Errands. Treat yourself, choose happy. What I could do for the weekend. Let's face this day. 
I think this is pretty pretty much it for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday are pretty plain. So let's put some color on that day. Start with this flag. We're going to do a triple layer on this day. I'm going to put you. I'm not liking that. <gasps> yes, I am liking this. So we're going to put you down right here. And then. Ooh, this dream on would be great. Dream on and smile, smile, smile. No, I don't like that there. This is good right here. Dream on. And... Let's go back. Whoops. Oh, did you guys purchase from Oso Paper? She reopened her shop on Monday. How much damage did you do? I did a good amount of damage, but hey, I knew that was going to happen because, I mean, I, I knew that was going to happen. That's, that's it. I feel like this is good. I would like something to be here to sort of break up that Wednesdays. Wednesday of PJs all day situation. Actually, Thursday is PJs all day because I don't have any meetings anywhere. Thursday is also trash day, but there are no trash stickers in this book, which is great. Ooh. Yes, I do feel like I should bring in some yellow. Let's see. This is nice and bright. And we have a little bit of cool. I need something either very dark. I like the contrast here. And that would be at the bottom. Sticker's a little crooked. Okay. Weekend is for errands. We are whiting out this because it's part of my header. Okay, weekends are for headers. We're going to Ooh, live colorfully, laugh often. I wish I had a little round sticker. I think I'm going to get my Supermom book. Or maybe not Supermom. One of the older, yeah, 1439. That's one of, that's another old sticker book. It was from... Okay, this one has 2016. 2016. This is also 2016. Okay. This mom book is a really, really, really good book. Miss Maker. Miss Maker. No, those are 2017s. 2018s. My memory planning books are also... Um, are also the, some of the older books that I got. So I got that. Mm. We need trash. We don't have any big days, do we? Not that I know of. Big day, treat yourself, carpool. <laughs> Go to Oso Paper and purchase. Let's see. 
No School Early Release Carpool Family Weekend Hello Weekend TGIF Oh, this is good. <laughs> if this weekend goes as planned, there will be no plans. No. Weekend project. I have a weekend project that I think really needs to be done next weekend, which is the setup of the garage. Ooh, I'm going to be very busy on Saturday. I don't know if I will make it here on Saturday. But I will let you guys know by Friday if that happens. All right. I'm not sure I'm done with these pages yet. But I think I'm done with these two. So we have practice. We have Taekwondo practice. I'm going to add those. Dinner with friends. Uh, true shopping day. That is not going to be Saturday. Then we have exercise and weigh in. I'm not weighing in next week because, yeah, I'm not weighing in next week. All right. I feel like I'm going backwards. So Saturday, project day. Sunday should be a rest day. Friday, we're going to have meeting. One meeting. I don't have any birthdays or anything. Mm. Little things don't stay little for long. Wake up, be awesome, be productive. That's going to be good. Friday, be productive. Another thing we also need to work on would be ways to be kinder to ourselves. We demand a whole lot from ourselves as moms, as women, and it can be quite it can be quite counter counterproductive cuz you you want all these things and they're great to want them but are you being kind to yourself while that happens are you being kind to yourself while that happens so I'm going to put movie night right here. And I need some popcorn. Do we have some popcorn? Strangely enough, I don't eat popcorn when I have movies. I didn't grow up with it. It was when I came to the U.S. that I saw that. We would just eat popcorn at random times. I think I have to pick up a prescription. I think so. That should be Monday. That'll be sometime Monday or Tuesday. I don't know exactly when. And that is a big thing to do. Where am I going to put this? I don't want to put it here. I guess so. This is fine. Then I can tick whether I did it or not. Right here. Hi, Miss Lady Diva. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the live. I am planning out next week in my Erin Condren daily planner using the first Happy Planner sticker books that I ever got. Oh, we have a doctor's appointment next, the, the, the upper week. We have a dentist appointment. So I have pretty much decorated. Yeah, by Wednesday, Thursday, I'm usually hashtag so tired. Okay. 
I think we have it all. I think we have it all. I like to leave things open appointment wise because I don't have what to use to cover it. Hi, Nyleve. Welcome back. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, this isn't it. I need, I want to cover that up. I want to put something up there. What shall it be? This is weekend, super busy. Volunteer. Reminder. I'm also trying to stop myself from glorifying busy because it really isn't worth it. It really isn't worth it. We have Taekwondo here. We also have Taekwondo here. I think we should use the red. And then Friday. Yay, this is turning into a very rainbowy spread. Yes. Okay, Thursday, we don't have anything. And I think that's it. That's it for the week. Where is my other pointer? Mm -hmm. School run. We got one meeting on Friday. Yeah. And that's it. Woohoo! We are done. We are done. Now to put all this back into my daily planner. And that's for Monday. So do a little recap. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. And everything is plain and simple. Plain and simple. So now this can go back into my catch-all planner. And I'm going to decorate my inventory book and figure out what the meal plans should look like for the week. Now, I've also started something new with regards to my meal planning. Where's my book? I've realized that I am... Because I'm quite the rebel and questioner, I think my brain doesn't like it when I... I need some food washi. I do not have any food washi. Because how am I going to decorate this without food washi? I think I know what I shall do. I shall do. I shall use some greenery to decorate the spread. What do you guys think? Some greenery to decorate the food spread? Or should I use flowers? I don't like flowers when it comes to wanting to eat something. It weirds me out. I don't like plants when it comes to wanting to eat. But I do not have any food washi. Oh no. Internet, what's going on? What is going on?
food washi, food washi. I don't know why I'm looking. I don't. Ooh, I have something close. <laughs> This is as close as it comes to food washi that I have. It's avocados. That is the closest thing I have to food washi. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, my lights just started falling. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put this avocado washi down, and then that will be that. If anything, it will sort of symbolize the fact that I want some healthy stuff in my shopping list. Hi, Cindy. That is 50 in planning, also known as Cindy. The lovely, lovely, kind Cindy. You can follow her on Instagram at 50 and planning. Going to put some avocado washi down. You missed the, you missed the plan with me. We've completed the plan with me. And now I am decorating my inventory book, which I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's a thing that I do. Or let me see if it'll make a difference in my using it. How about that? That's my real excuse. I want to see if it'll make a difference in using it. Because I haven't, I haven't been using it because, like, I wanted to say, and I stopped before. I'm the type of person who, if I set, if I decide, and I think it's really with food. If I decide we're going to eat these, this on this particular day. Come that particular day, my brain is going to say, you know what? I don't feel like eating that on this day. I don't feel like eating this, so no. And I'm just going to rebel against the whole thing that I set up for myself. So since I know I'm weird like that, I've decided to do a do my meal planning in a rough format to say this is what I have on hand in the fridge, in the inventory thing. And these are the meals I think we could do this week. And I would choose from that set of meals. That's the new plan. Oh, you took your grandbaby to Bel Don't You don't have to apologize for that. That's family. Family comes first. And she needed to get to ballet anyway. Um, so, I did it this way last week where I wrote out my breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Now, out of all of this last week, what I we actually ate... Where's my pencil? We actually ate... So I did cucumber and tea. I had oatmeal. I had salad and eggs this morning. Uh, I made, ba well, baked eggs, fried, baked. I did that. Wow. I didn't have a kolache, so that was it. Lunch, I did have salad and chicken. I did have salad and tuna. I had yam porridge. Uh, dinners, I did that. I did that. I didn't have any zucchini. I didn't have any rice and beans. So, 
I've realized that I think this will work better for me. Having just to have my meal options, breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, and just choosing. And if I'm able to get to all of them, fine. If I'm not able to get to all of them, that's fine. But that I will eat within that, um, how do I put it? I would eat within that plan, right? So I'll do it just like I did this one. And maybe I should have made it horizontal instead of vertical. I can always wipe that out. And basically, I would write down what it is that we need to eat and then what it is that I need to do for all those things that I need to eat. One of the, So let's see, we might separate it then in two. We might separate them into two. I don't want to put any more food washy down. But I would like to put something a little yellowy and blue. Ooh. I'm going to put this yellow bow. So what do you guys think of that? That, I think that helps me because my brain thinks, okay, we're not locked into a... We're not locked into having to eat this particular thing on this particular day because what if I don't want to eat that on that particular day? There really is no need to put down any more wash. Ooh, but it's pretty. It's pretty. We're going to put it down. Actually, that needs to be a little lower. So like I said, my brain isn't doesn't feel like it's locked into doing a particular thing on a particular day. It makes me feel like I have the freedom to choose what it is I want to do. And that is more freeing, I think, for me than, you know, having a stark meal plan. Yeah. You can buy happiness, you can buy donuts, and that's kind of the same thing. I am halfway in agreement. Hi, Marcy. Hello. This looks very much like what I had the other day. Some oatmeal. And that's part of why I'm decorating this. So meal options. We're going to have... I might end up... If I write it all down in a list format, I won't have space for stickers. And I want to put stickers down. I do. I do, I do, I do. I do. Oh, six more minutes, and then we have to go. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. Oh, that is a very catchy sticker. So oatmeal, eggs. Yep, very much what my breakfasts look like. And put these right on top of the spoon. Why? Why should it be right on top of the spoon? Oatmeal, eggs, some fried eggs, because why not? Woohoo! This, this makes me feel good, y'all. Thank you, Cindy. I am trying because 
I am trying because I need I need to do better. I need to do much better with using what I have. What's for dinner? I'm going to wipe that up. And I probably shouldn't have decorated it because it's best it's best to decorate after you've you know after you've set your system up, that's when it's best to decorate. Prior to that, yeah, nobody should be decorating anything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm gonna put that over here. What's for dinner? And then at the bottom I'm going to write what I need to do in order to get this stuff done. Farmer's market, gluten-free. I need to stay on the... I'm not buying anything gluten-free. I'm not buying bread. Am I buying bread this week? Do, 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 do. No, because we have loads of bread in the... Ooh, look at this! Let's make that... Breakfast. Ooh, yo, you guys. I'm so glad that I got this. Now I'm so glad I got this. Breakfast, lunch, what's for dinner? And my snacks are on. There are no snacks. I don't really care about snacks. So that's the meal plan. I was looking for popcorn, wasn't I? I was looking for popcorn. We're not going to have pizza night this week because TJ's not home this weekend. So no pizza night. This is going in here. So that's for Friday. No pizza night this week, like I said. Uh, kolaches, that might be one of the kids' breakfast thingamajigs. I will cut off. Our kolaches don't have... This is a corn dog, but I'm going to use it as a kolache. So that means I'm going to take off the stick part because you don't have sticks in your kolaches. Breakfast. I hope I remember what this is for. This can be right here. Okay, no fries, no burgers, salads. My lunches are salads. Okay, I have fallen in love with this food book all over again. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yes, that's the start of what my lunches would look like. And I need to put one of those over here. Because I am purchasing a kale salad. One kale salad. To cover the inventory, because I need two per week two per week all right what else are we doing taco tuesday nope i don't do tacos i don't do tacos uh nope what is this is this shrimp this looks like shrimp i don't have any shrimp mm, i'm not going to get any shrimp i do need to make a curry next week i need to make a curry next week uh i can just write that down here so for next week i need to make curry i'm 
need to make a red curry, make that with chicken. And a lot of my meals, I make them and put them in the freezer. Because that's how I was brought up. Red curry, that would be with chicken and shrimp. Okay, this is going to be great. We have, we are ready for the week. We are ready for the week. No to dessert. No, no. Why so many dessert? Why? Mm, fruits, kiwi. Yep, 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 yep. No, this is the old one. This is the old food book. Which reminds me, I do need to buy lemon. I do need to buy some lemon. Lemon. We have ginger, we have garlic. But we need to buy lemon. Uh, kiwi, kiwi, kiwi. We can buy some kiwi. for when I make my smoothies which reminds me one of the things I need to do is to make a smoothie smoothie prep oh this was supposed to have a to-do sticker mm. This was supposed to have it. There's a meal prep sticker somewhere here. Bananas. Do we need bananas? Do we need bananas? Broccoli. My kid's favorite vegetable. We're going to put some broccoli over here. And an avocado, even though we do not eat avocados over there. Let's let, let that be in the middle somewhere. Beets. I had thought about getting some beets. Isn't there a meal plan? Or meal prep? I thought there was. Maybe it's the new food book that has meal plan or meal prep. Yeah, this doesn't have meal plan or meal prep. Okay, it must be the new one. I think I got the new one. I'm not sure. Which reminds me. We should probably... One of the things I need to do this week is to prep, prep strawberries. Should I put that over here? Yeah. And I'm going to use a to-do sticker from this book. And then this will have all the to-dos related to these items whenever I put them in. And that's it! That is it. We are ready for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, please leave them down in the comments below. If you happen to be watching the replay, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below. I'm done. We're done on time. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, Gigi. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Marcy. And anyone here left. <laughs> We're down to six people. But thank you so much, Kate. And I leave. Thank you so much. And we gotta go. Bye.